I love you. Please go out with me. Huh? That was the first time I, Kosuke Yagihashi, a high school sophomore, ever asked a girl out. Hey, what was up with that half-hearted confession? There was no passion in it. It's obvious this is just part of a punishment game. It is part of a punishment game, but can you blame me? I lost a card game that I played with my friends. I didn't want you to be the first girl I ever asked out. How dare you admit to me that this is part of a punishment game? I'll never forgive you. I'm gonna make sure you take full responsibility for humiliating me. What you doing? You just wrecked that bucket for no reason. Someone has to pay for that, you know? You shouldn't be so careless with things. Your parents pay taxes, which contribute to buying these things for this school. Hey, aren't you afraid of me? I hate punks more than I'm afraid of them. Punks get angry very easily and try to scare you and make you do things they want you to do. That's why I don't like them. Okay then, I like you too. What? I've never met someone who wasn't afraid of me. You not being afraid of me means that I can talk to you as an equal. I'm so touched by your guts. Huh? Now that I've said all that, do you understand what I'm trying to get across? What? I want to go out with you! Seriously? That's what you're trying to say? You must be joking. I'm gonna end up being beaten to a pulp by you thanks to this. I hate lying, so I had to tell you the truth about the punishment game. I'm sorry if I shredded your pride by doing that. You don't have to do anything to me. Why do you have to joke about this, darling? I'm serious. I never thought that my classmate Ayaka Serizawa, a punk Yaru, would throw such a curveball at me. Is she being serious? I can't figure out what the truth is. Don't stare at me so hard. I'm getting embarrassed. This is the first time a boy has ever asked me out. Huh. That's surprising. I've never asked a girl or had a girl ask me out either. How strange that it happened in such an unromantic and unexpected situation. I'm shocked. Well then, it's a first for both of us. Let's enjoy this moment together. Give me a break. I'm sorry for tearing your pride to shreds. I don't have the broad-mindedness in me to go out with a punk Yaru. That's why I can't go out with you. Please understand. Get up off your knees. Don't be so heartless. It's impossible for me to not go out with you now. I'm sure you'll be the first and last guy that I meet that isn't afraid of me. I'll make you fall in love with me. I'm scared. Now for the first time, my fear outweighs my hate of punks. My high school life might have come to an end as early as in my first year. But I knew I had to stop it from happening. I didn't have another choice. The next morning. You're finally here. You took so long to come. Hey, stop it. Let go of me. You shouldn't believe the rumors that boys turn weak if you make skin contact with them. Let go of me. I like you more and more. You're just how I thought you'd be. Your hard-headedness makes me feel safe. Please don't embarrass me. I said I'd make you fall in love with me, but you still haven't taken responsibility for asking me out and humiliating me as part of your punishment game. How am I supposed to take responsibility for that? Ugh, you're an idiot. Why don't you say something like, eek, or let go of me? I'm trying to scare you. That sounds like what your punk side would want me to do. What do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. What? I can't hear you. I want you to marry me! Okay, marriage. Of course, I'd be happy to... Wait, what? Marriage? Wait a minute, are you out of your mind? You want me to be your slave for the rest of our lives? No! I told you again and again that you may be the first and last guy that I meet that isn't afraid of me. I don't want to miss out on my chance to marry a guy who isn't afraid of me. I want to get married and skip all that mundane stuff like dating. Relax a little. Do you know where we are? Our high school school gate. That's right. This isn't normally where you'd ask someone to marry you, is it? Besides, think about it. We're only 16 years old. The law says you need to be 18 to get married in Japan. Then just go out with me. We should cool down a little bit. The first bell is about to ring. Let's talk about this some other time. What do you mean by some other time? Don't run away from me. 
I'll be waiting for you at the school gate after school. Even if you try to run away, I'll chase you down wherever you go. Sure, sure. I had already given up. I didn't want to go out with her or marry her. But she was hell-bent on being with me. I figure I had no choice but to talk to her and try to change her mind instead of running away. After school, I found her waiting for me at the school gate. We left walking together. I just want to confirm what you're saying. Call me darling. Just to confirm, when you say going out, what exactly does that mean? Does it mean we're going to have a relationship as boyfriend and girlfriend? What else could it mean? From the flow of yesterday's conversation, it's not like it meant we were going to go out shopping or find a mutual hobby. That wouldn't have made any sense, right? That's what I thought. I'm telling you, you don't have the power to turn me down. But what? You're going to go out with me, handsome. Take responsibility for humiliating me with your punishment game. You said it in such a cute way all of a sudden. We're a couple. I know I humiliated you with that punishment game. It's my fault, I guess. There's nothing else I can do. I'll go out with you. Mom, I lost. Your son now has his first girlfriend. That night. <laughs> I was a little pushy, but I finally found myself a handsome boyfriend. I'll definitely make you fall in love with me, Kosuke, darling. You're the first guy who I can talk to as an equal. I'm gonna work hard and make you a lunchbox for tomorrow. I had no way of knowing that her determination would be so firm. As of the next day, Ayaka and I started dating. Here's your lunchbox. We can eat lunch together on the rooftop. A lunchbox? Of course. We're dating now. Really? That's right. What? They're dating? After school. I think it's time we go home. I have a place I want to stop by. Can you walk home alone today? I'll come with you. It's only natural now that we're in a relationship. Well, if that's how it's supposed to be. She obliged, stating that we were a couple now, so it was natural. I had no choice but to accept it. Hey, I'm getting frustrated and insisting we do things together because it's natural now that we're going out. I feel like I'm forcing you to do things with me. I understand how you're feeling. Don't speak so coldly. I want to have a more exciting love affair with you. I remember you said that you don't like flying and also that your attitude doesn't change depending on the person you're talking to. But you don't even know me that well yet, right? So... Date me! Date me and get to know me better! We can't be honest with each other at school because you're afraid of being seen, aren't you? So how about we meet up next Saturday? Sure. I readily agreed. I hoped that the date would make her dislike me. After all, punks were not my cup of tea. That weekend. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. I wasn't waiting long for you. You got here just in time. Uh. <gasps> what the heck? It's rude to stare at a girl like that, isn't it? No, this is the first time I've seen you out of your school uniform. I thought you seemed different from usual. I guess I was too enthusiastic. Hmm? What is it this time? The tip of your nose is turning red. It's cold! Uh, hey, what you doing? You can't hold my hand like that all of a sudden! How long have you been waiting here for me? Your hands are so cold! I wasn't waiting for you. I'm really sensitive to the cold, so sue me! Oh, I see. I arrived too early because I thought it'd be bad if I was late. There's no way I can tell him that I waited here for an hour. Where shall we go today? Is there anywhere in particular you want to go? There's a movie I want to see with you. Do you like movies? Yeah. Let's go watch it. I'm surprised that she likes movies about animals. I thought it'd be more of a punk movie. <laughs> She's crying now? My image of her changed a lot after that incident. I left the theater unable to concentrate on the movie because I was worried about Ayaka. I'm not crying! I didn't say anything. I just got some dust in my eyes. Dang it, that wasn't cool of me. 
He must think I'm so lame. You like animals, don't you? Is that a bad thing? No, it's not bad at all. I'm relieved to know that you're just a normal girl. I actually have a dog at home. Do you want to see pictures of him? Sure. Aww, he's so cute! What's his name? His name is Mint. Wow, that's a nice name. I named him myself. I wish I had a dog, too. <gasps> hey, her smile is the bomb! If you want, you could come over to my place sometime. What? An invitation to his house? Does that mean he recognizes me as his girlfriend? Uh, oh no, what am I saying? I only came on this date to make her hate me, didn't I? Sure, I'll come over. I'd love to. Uh, okay. Is she coming to my house? Oh gosh, this isn't going how I planned. Uh, I knew it. Maybe I should wait until we get to know each other better before going over to your house. I think so too. I got a bit carried away. Will you eat lunch with me again on Monday at school? Sure. I was surprised by the fact that she liked animals and that she sometimes showed a cute smile. It made me think that she might not be as scary as I first thought. I went on that date to try and make her hate me, but by the time I left, I wanted to get to know more about how she really was. On Monday, I was heading to the rooftop to have lunch alone with Ayaka when... Kosuke. Can I have a word? Sure, Moe. What's up? You and Ayaka seem to get along well. That's a little surprising. Are you dating? Well... Kosuke, darling! I've loved you for a long time! Please go out with me! Huh? Um, I... That confession of love echoed all the way to the rooftop. If Ayaka had already been up there, she might have heard it. Kosuke? Uh. I heard Moe call you darling. What's wrong? I'm gonna head up first and start eating. Oh, I'm sorry, Moe. There's already a girl I like. I'm so sorry. Bye. <laughs> I answered Moe and chased up the stairs after Ayaka. Wait, Ayaka! I said wait! Why are you chasing me? Because you ran away. Um... About earlier. You're well suited for a neat and clean girl like Moe. I liked you and forced you to go out with me, but a punk girl like me has no choice but to step aside and... It's true that you forced yourself on me at first, but when we went on our first date, I realized that I misunderstood you a lot. So now, I want to know more about what kind of girl you are. You ran away earlier, but I turned down Moe's offer. I like you, Ayaka. What you talking about? You like me? Is this a dream? What about you? Do you like me? You... you already know the answer to that, don't you? I... I fell in love with your stupid honesty a long time ago. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't hear you well. I mean, I've been harassing you for a long time, so I don't need to tell you again. Why can't you understand that? You're an idiot, Kosuke! If you prefer a neat and clean girl like Moe, I'll just stop being a punk Yaru. I'll quit. Are you jealous, Ayaka? Of course not. Don't be so conceited, you idiot. Your face has gone all red. It's kind of cute. Seriously, you're an idiot. Please go out with me again. I like you just the way you are. You don't have to force yourself to stop being a punk Yaru. I can't help it. If you insist on it that much, I'll go out with you. Woohoo! That's how we became lovers. On a weekend, as promised, Ayaka came over to my house to meet my dog, Mint. Ayaka, are you nervous? Huh? Wh what? I, I'm not nervous at all. I'm looking forward to meeting Mint. You're still Sundari as usual. Don't call me soon today. My first ever girlfriend was a little bit foul-mouthed, but very cute. I took a cute photo of Mint. Do you want to see it? Uh, oh, you, you're so close, you idiot. This is 
just like kissing distance. Just because Ayaka seems cute doesn't mean I can get away with poking fun at her. Am I a bad person for trying to confirm Ayaka's feelings? I hate punk Yarus, but before I knew it, I fell for one. Our story had only just begun. <laughs>